All right. Hello and welcome, everyone, back to the Collective Minds podcast. Today, you got me, Astral, and your boy, Jay. Today, we're going to talk about some things that are probably affecting you now, today, in your daily life, or possibly will be affecting you here shortly in the future. So, Jay, the great egg shortage. Have you noticed anything new? A lot more eggs are not available on the shelves. Um, And the prices are going up for whatever eggs that are available in stores. This is fact, bro. So I started seeing memes and stuff on Reddit for some stupid reason about eggs. And I was like, oh, there's probably an egg shortage. Well, I actually went to the grocery store today. There's definitely some sort of shortage of eggs. That's for sure. There was barely any left, which is kind of cool, though, because the ones they do have left are like the all natural good for you eggs. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think I paid seven something for 18 eggs, though, today. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I today I went to Sam's. I paid 13 for 36. So it was a thing of 18 times two. Yeah, could you imagine what teenagers are thinking these days if they can't even egg houses anymore? It's I don't too know. damn expensive. Between the gas and the, you know, and the egg shortage, I mean... And then the toilet paper shortage that was there. These kids are screwed. Yeah. I did think of something uh, yesterday, though, that was pretty ingenious, if you ask me, which is instead of uh, ding dong ditching people's houses uh, like we used to do when we were kids, how much better would it be to shut off their main water line out front of their house? It would piss them off a lot. (laughs) I I saw that and I was like, wow, that would be such a good idea. Like the great uh, watering terror but uh so according to many reports the current situation with food supplies is in fact already dire this is coming from valleyfoodstorage.com the wfp predicts that by 2023 there will be a shortage of wheat and corn which are two staple products in the food supply however there it does not say anything about eggs Now, if you look a little bit before that, at the end of 2022, they are saying wheat, lettuce, butter, eggs, and turkey. So put that together. We got corn as well, all of which are heavy staples in food that you need for sure, which are like, I mean, if there was a way to tell how crappy a situation or or government or the world's like food power is losing those kinds of things, it shows a lot. That's like, you need these things to survive. I mean, people ate bread and eggs and forever. I mean, that's what people lived on since day one. So, or grains yeah. at least and eggs. So that kind of shows you that even the basic necessities are out the window. Welcome to 2023, everybody. We are in it. So $13 for, you said 28 eggs. Was that what it was? 30, 36. 36. 36. 36 yeah, to, to 18 carton uh 18 count carton gotcha yeah that's insane that is insane i'm just glad i don't eat as many eggs as i used to so but yeah so that's gonna affect everything um but this is this is kind of like a not a false flag it's actually happening they're blaming it on an avian bird flu which is interesting everything today is either trump's fault It seems Russia's fault, it seems, or some sort of cold and flu situation. Highly comical. Yeah, did you hear about um, dogs also having the flu? Oh, really? No. There's there's some sort of weird epidemic about dogs having the flu now. That's weird. I just saw it on the news uh, this morning. That's freaky. That is freaky with these animals getting new diseases and stuff. Yeah, I guess they're not testing on animals anymore either for certain shots that they're trying to create. They're just going straight to human trials, which is interesting. But with the whole animals getting, or especially like birds and stuff like that that you actually eat, and then dogs as being an animal that lives in your home steadily, is that there's a disease that like deer and elk actually have that's highly unreported. But it's told to all hunters that you're supposed to get your meat checked, the animals checked after you go hunting before you even like really touch the thing. And it's like consume. Yeah, it's like a mad cow disease kind of situation going on with that. Which is really weird. Never seen before, but I guess it's slowly creeping up 
I only know about that because of Dave Politis going off about it a lot. He's like, watch this. Why aren't they talking about this? Very interesting. But the reason I say this is kind of like a distraction, false flag, which it is happening, is because if you go around your local grocery store looking for things you typically like to eat or eat every once in a while that you would, you know, just one of those random dishes you make, you can't find them. You can't find certain items anymore. And I'm not going to get too specific, but like I couldn't find a certain kind of chicken I was looking for, like pre-prepared packaged chicken, of course. But however, I am seeing a ton of you got to you got to almost look for it, right? You got to read everything now when you go to the grocery store, because half the stuff you're buying is soy protein or some weird plant protein mix. Like I'm seeing this all over where it's like part beef, part plant protein, part chicken, part plant protein part pork part plant protein that's creepy and you don't even notice it you don't really tell you're just like oh it's just manufactured that's why it's a little bit different than the other stuff i always get and then you look at the package and you're like i've been eating soy for a week no i'm just kidding but it is true very interesting how that's happening right now lots of yeah, stuff I, is unavailable I'd rather have those type of substitutes than crickets or insects yeah, in general right yeah which it's all genetically modified and who knows what the plant protein is, you know, what it's coming from and stuff. Cause lots of plant plants can be very dangerous in many different ways, especially when you start messing with their genetics. So there's that. I think that this whole pointing out the egg thing and cause you go to the store, you buy all your stuff. You don't really pay attention wondering why certain things aren't there. Well, now you're not because you're pissed off that you're buying eggs and it's costs as much as a um, T-bone steak. So there you go. It's been happening more and more. Have you seen any changes? Jay, you were big on the uh, that uh, one store you were going to. It seemed like stuff was just disappearing. Have you been back to that? Can you remind me of this? There's I a think lot of it, things that... I'm not sure I if it was of. Walmart or if it was a different store, but they were... Sl- like the sh- aisles were getting more cleared out. Well, like almost less aisles or... Oh, I haven't... So I haven't really been to that um walmart but the aisles definitely have been widened so they've been taking off shelves um there's product on the shelves um there aren't much gaps but you can tell that they've removed like one or two whole aisles like two rows of shelves um just to make it seem like the the store is still stocked up kind of thing and I guess you could uh, attribute it to like the holidays and stuff, like displays of like bulk stuff in the middle of the aisle kind of thing. But what they substituted at my local Walmart grocery was alcohol and um, miscellaneous drinks. So like alcohol won't move as fast as say um, spaghettios or just dry spaghetti that you need to cook or cheese or hot dogs, stuff like that. Like alcohol will sit there. Um, so this particular Walmart had a whole bunch of liquor, a whole bunch of um, wine that's just taking up all this space that used to be two whole aisles of uh, products. It's crazy too, because the ingredients in a lot of the food in the U S is illegal in other countries. So with them removing what seems to be like staples in food, which is probably more natural food, and the shortage of like the cough and cold medicine for kids, it's just, you really got to wonder what you're eating, you know, and how they're saying testosterone levels are going to be gone in the next whatever years. People are not going to be able to make babies in the next however many years. Is this a projected plan? You know, because it seems like we worry about like global warming or whatever. We worry about that and we, they like to bitch and argue about that, but why wouldn't you stop the ultimate destruction of like humankind's ability to reproduce, which should be our number one concern if all it takes is changing a couple of laws on what's allowed to be shoved down your throat. Let's just call it out what it is. This is a depopulation plan. Exactly. Like a food chain, um, it's, it's. Uh, directly affecting us because we mm-hmm. consume uh, those things like animals um, 
like the deer, cow, chicken. If you mess with any, any of that, that's our meat source, right? Mm-hmm. And then if you go to the um, processed foods, like chips and um, salsa, um, not salsa, like, like chips, Cheetos, whatever, they're being substituted with these alternative products, plant-based, cricket protein, you know? Oh, yeah. And we're, we're not supposed to be consuming um, processed foods because it's not natural. Unlike hunting or uh, butchering a animal, and, or and or um, like harvesting crop of like carrots, um, lettuce, cabbage, stuff like that, that's natural. Like it's not processed to anything. It's it's grown in the ground. Um, granted, there might be pesticides and chemicals that make made it grow health, healthier, but it's not being processed with additional chemicals and like what is that jelly or rubber or those mm-hmm. additives they add in the glue yeah yeah yep they want us fat and stupid cuz you're easy to control and you get sick and you die quicker on your Definitely. way out you don't argue about it very interesting on top of that them affecting the yeah the meat all the food you eat your water um here's another one another meat stable that we're supposed to have which is fish and uh yeah, uh, Japan is dumping uh, Fukushima nuclear wastewater into the ocean. So <laughs> we were, we know where that ocean goes. Here soon, maybe the fish yeah. you can't even eat. Well, I just want to say that that's been happening um, since uh, the whole Fukushima thing happened years ago. I don't think they ever stopped since then. They had to get rid of that wastewater somewhere, right? So it's... It's still ongoing. Um, it never really stopped. It's it's just like um trying to find an alternative landfill. You're still gonna have to put a uh, trash somewhere. I think they should shoot it to the moon, yeah. I think we should just burn it <laughs> and then just have real good like air filters. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Crazy. 